laughing. Yes, how are you? Because right. you were speaking behind me without any understanding the subject. I the didn't sub understand the subject we were yeah. about hell, but hate, 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 uh, and yeah. hell. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what we're talking about, the, 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 he was trying to negate that God mm. hates some people, but in the Bible clearly said he hated someone. That was my point. Yes, but then again, that's why we have people studying the Bible to understand in the context of times that it was written. Yeah, but the Jewish people accept God hate people. Well, I don't, I'm not Jewish, so yeah, I but Old Testament, to them. Yeah, but the Old Testament for Jewish people. Yes, but I'm not Jew. I'm yeah, so, so, so when I go to, to, to the Old Testament, mm -hmm. who should I go back to to understand it? To you or to the Jewish people? Well, I would say us, because we understand the whole revelation. But Jewish people, they say it's them, because it was given to them. They can say whatever they want, I don't need yeah. to accept them. Yeah, but the Jewish people, they can tell you, you say whatever you want, we don't accept you. Like I said, you can say whatever you want, you're a free person. Anyway, you believe Jesus to be God? Yes. Is God perfect all the time? Say the way we understand it. Yes. What do you mean, do we, of course, the way we understand it, the tree, how we understand it, we're talking me and you. The way we understand God is perfect. In my opinion, yes. No, God, God is not in need of nothing, he's self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? Yes. Yeah. So, you believe God become a baby? Yes, we took a human form. We, had a, we believe that he was both God and both human. So, so he never, he never relinquished his godly power. So when he was inside the woman, that was yes. God as well? Yes, but you have to understand that godly reality and human reality in Christianity are two different things. God no, no. lives outside of time. So he was not inside, the mothers were... He was. So was he inside or outside? You don't understand. For us, the God has double nature. He's a true God and true human. I'm not asking you. Who is God inside the Mary's womb? Yes. He was inside. Was he outside? Yes, he was born. Yes. So the thing is human. No, no, before, when he was nature, inside, yes. that God was inside. That was God inside. Huh? In his human nature form, yes. But he told, me was, inside. he told me he was God as well. No. God exists outside of time in our reality. So even though he was in human form, he did not relinquish his godly nature as well. And okay. space exists outside of time, outside of physics, space. Let me repeat the question. Yeah. When Jesus was inside, the baby, yeah. that was Jesus. Sorry. Was that God as well? Well, he is a God, but it doesn't mean that he, his godly nature is physically there. You understand? So he wasn't God? He was God, yes. Because so he was inside the woman? God. So that's what I'm saying. So when he was inside Mary, he was God and a man at the same time. Yes, but we need to have some understanding of how we look at it. Because you try, I, I, I'm explaining to you. Bro, did Jesus speak like you? He's both human and both God. And, the same time. and so he was God, so that Jesus, mm -hmm. the baby Jesus, Yes. He, that was inside the Mary's womb, it was God and a man at the same time? Yes. So Mary was bigger than him? No, of course not, because God has no size. He doesn't understand. If he has no size, how was, how was inside in, uh, the, the, the mother, the womb? That's what I'm explaining to you, because he, had, he took up dual nature. So he was, he, he did, took human form, but he did not relinquish his God's well, nature. This ring, this ring is inside the, the bottle, yeah? Yes, this ring, yeah. But this God is not. But this ring is not a uh, God. No problem. God. No problem. The baby Jesus, yeah. when he was inside Mary's womb, yeah. was that God or not God? He was God. Yes. Yeah. So it's inside Mary's womb. Jesus, yes, he's, as he has dual form. Yeah, yeah as a God, as God, God was there. Yeah. As a man, as a God was inside. He, I, I answered this question seven times. No, you don't answer. No, 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 you know. Yeah, riddles. You just play with riddles. No, no, it is riddles. It is riddles. It's a riddle. It's a riddle. Because why? I'm expecting you're trying. No, you, he says, he says yes, then he says that it's outside time. Okay, you're trying to apply human logic and human physics. Human logic. What are we going to apply? So outside. Outside physics, outside time. So he was not inside because the man is more warm is physics, inside physics. Is a human body? He was, yes. I'm telling you, he has the word. No. This is the explanation in Christian theology. So, uh, just yes or no? Just yes or no? God, Jesus as a baby. Yeah. He was a baby and a God at the same time. Yes. And he was inside Mary. Jesus was inside Mary. Yes, so God was inside Mary. That depends how you put it. Look, he's playing around. <laughs> he's telling me. No, what do you mean how do you put you it? So as a, that, he was not Simple question. As a if Jesus as a baby was a God and a man at the same time, it was God and a man at the same time. It was not two different beings. It was one being inside has two nature. It was yes, inside two, two natures. No, but God is not restricted by 
physics. So he was not inside the bike. So he was not inside the bike. He was everywhere. Inside her, outside her, everywhere. God is everywhere. So he was, so, he so, was everywhere. He was everywhere. Yes. So every human is God and a man at the same time. No, we all live in God. Uh, take care of yourself. Alhamdulillah for Islam. <laughs> Look after yourself. That's why Christians become Muslim. It doesn't make any sense. He knows it doesn't make any sense by just playing with words. It's just what because, you're saying. Because if because Jesus... You like the answer. If, no, because you thought you had the you answer, answer. And, you, and it didn't work. Bro, you keep contradicting yourself. Huh? You contradict yourself. myself. Okay. Did Mary know that she, was, she had God inside her? Yes. Show me in the Bible says that. She was told. Show me in the Bible. I don't. I am Catholic. I don't. Uh, Bible is not the only source of revelation to me. Ah. Right. So the Bible. What, what is the other source? Uh, apostolic tradition. Apostolic. So it says that Mary, she knew she was carrying a God. Yes. So, okay. How come she never prayed to Jesus? She prayed uh, to the Father. Uh, how do you know she did? She didn't. She prayed to God. As a Catholic, you pray to Mary. Pray to Mary as well. I don't pray. I asked her to pray for. Ask her, like I would ask you to pray for me. So did Jesus doing to Mary? So you ask Mary, what do you say? Because my wife she's a Catholic and left it. Yeah, Mary. So don't lie to me. I know. Like, pray for us sinners now. What do you the say? Time of our death, for example. You ask Mary. Mary, pray for us. Mary, Mary can't do anything. Herself. Did Jesus in the Bible say Mary pray for me, or he said pray to Father directly? Why would you say that? Okay, you follow Jesus or who you follow? Huh? Who you follow? See the Christians they follow Jesus, uh, George Michael, Michael Jackson, everyone they follow. I follow God. Did and Jesus the people who gave us example did, how to follow God? Did Jesus pray to the Father the or pray to Mary? Why would he? What are you talking about? She was not God. Why she? Why I did ask you. Did Jesus pray to the Father directly? Yes. So he did pray to Mary. Yeah. Nobody prays to Mary. He never asked Mary to pray for him. We pray to Father directly. How do you know he never because he taught you how. He said, Oh Father who is in heaven, forgive us. He didn't even say, Oh Mary, yeah, ask only, Father. We only know a very small part of, of well, lie, you know, life. You know, uh, so we don't know. Years he lived. So maybe Jesus said, Worship God. And Jesus does not need to ask anybody. Okay, how do you know Jesus never said, I'm not God? Maybe in other scriptures he said, I'm not God. I don't know. So, yeah. how do so you know, know sure. that there are no dwarves? You know, sure then. How do you know that there are no dwarves? So, because you told me Jesus said many things we don't know, correct? Yeah. So how do you know from that teaches from the teaching that Jesus because said we, we don't know back to the roots of faith. We have so just black follow. the word of God and we believe it's true, same as you believe that Quran is true. And anyway, let's go back to the points here. That's the that's the point. Oh, that's this the, is where the believing part okay. comes in. Quran you know, you know, is also for you know what's paradox? Belief. You know what's paradox? Yes. Where's paradox? What paradox? Sir? Paradox, for example, if you say God become a baby, that's paradox. Not a okay, is a baby created? Yes. Is God created? No. So how someone's any created become created? A tall short man. Does that make sense? Okay. He was conceived. Like I said, it was his human form again. He became a baby. You're, you're again trying to. It's a paradox. That's what I'm saying. No, it's not a paradox. Okay. Is God self-sufficient? Yes. yes. When he became a baby, his mother she breastfed him. So he was in need of food. He cannot be the same God who is self-sufficient. Simple, logical, okay, rational still way. God, so he can, for example, create food for him if he wanted. So he's in need of food. I think it's human form because he took the human form. What's what's so confusing about this? I don't so understand. if he take a human form, yes. therefore he's restricted and to human nature. His human form. Yeah, to human form. But it only goes restricted by physics. He's not in his godly nature. Ah, uh, but take care of yourself. Well, alhamdulillah. This is bro, he's laughing, the brother. Well, I laugh, Akhi, laugh. Not, I, I would tell people stop laughing, but laugh, Akhi. Well, life is a joke. Well, life is a joke. He said God is not restricted by any physics, but he becomes a human being, which is human nature to be restricted. Like, well, come on, man. Again, Alhamdulillah for Islam. Islam, simple way. God who is perfect. He created the creation. He trusts people amongst us. He told him to convey the message to worship God alone. Simple. simple. Is not necessarily true. No, simple means that God who created us. He, yeah? You know why it's confusion? It's confusion, it's truth. No, it's not confusion. You, you know why it's confusion? Study a little bit more. Study what? God become a baby, someone changes nothing. No, Catholic theology, if you want to discuss it, because obviously you don't understand it. And you try to no, I, I don't want to understand it because and why? Then even, it wasn't even discussion, just created some gotcha points, trying to catch me with some little logical tricks. So I can see. Handula is logical yeah. tricks. Yeah. Handula is logical. I showed you. You showed me what? That God became baby. No, you just showed me that as a Christian, you have ten off your brain. That's what you showed me. What I showed you? You showed me as a Christian to believe in Christianity, you have ten off your brain. Don't use your brain. That's what you just showed yeah, me. I think because
because Christianity is a bit more complicated. They have to use it to say that Islam is yeah. So I think it's easier. God become a baby and someone changes his nappy. So is a, again, your logic is a bit faulty. Here. No, it's not because the logic of you, God, was beaten up by the Romans. Yeah. He said, yes, sir, God, take care of yourself. He just admit God was beaten up by the Romans. Yeah, he was flogged. What's, what's, uh, God was flogged. I'm free from your belief and you free my belief. Alhamdulillah. Look at this guy. I'm free. On the camera, he said, God was... Imagine God, the Almighty, who is getting beat up by the Romans. He said, yes, look. May Allah heal you. Let's go take care of yourself. <laughs> he was getting beat up because he loves us. What logic is that? God getting beat up. So therefore, God be, has less power. The humans are more powerful than him. Well, like Christians become Muslim, alhamdulillah. Do you come every Sunday to use you for Christians to become Muslim? I will never become Muslim. No, no, I want to use you for the Christians who have a sound reason to accept Islam. Uh -huh. Because the fact that on the camera you said God was beaten, getting beaten up, that doesn't make any sense, alhamdulillah, for Islam. Alhamdulillah. No, no, for the Christians out there who are sincere to know Christianity as a preacher standing here, you are preacher. Where, where you are? Tourists, sir. Well, I don't come back, brother. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Poland. Poland, that's it. Well, I accept Islam. We should go alone. No, never. Except you never say never, you know? I'm saying that. Yeah, I don't know. My word. Huh? Even though you become. I'm not people that they said never, they become Muslim. Yeah, you don't make mistakes. Huh? Alhamdulillah for Islam. <laughs> Worship God. You know, Moses never believed Jesus to be God. Nowhere in the Old Testament, look what this here, look at logical way. Rational. Moses, Abraham, Noah, Jacob, Isaac, Jeremiah, Daniel, all of them say worship one God. God is not a man. In the Old Testament, God is not a man. The Christian, God become a man. Muslim, Prophet Muhammad came, God is not a man. So Prophet Muhammad goes in line, alayhi salatu wa salam, with the teaching of the prophets and messengers. So the first prophet according to Christians, who is he? Jesus. Revelation no. does not end the Old Testament, but the New Testament. No. So God's understanding of the Old Testament. No, no. The Old Testament never teach God is a man. Teach God is not a man. So therefore, the Old Testament was lying, or the New Testament is a lying. Which one was lying? None of them are lying. How? Go in the Old Testament. God is not a man. In the Old Testament. Uh, in the Old Testament, all the prophets and messengers. God is not a man. In New Testament, God is a man. Prophet Muhammad came. God is not a man. So therefore, the New Testament is a pagan book. Yeah, the Prophet right. Muhammad is a messenger of Allah because he said worship Allah alone and worship no one beside him. Where, when does the Old Testament come from? What times? Before Jesus or after? That's my point, even before yeah. Jesus. No, not yet. That's before prove my Jesus. point. So he wasn't prove my point. born when the Old Testament was written. So what kind of argument is that? But after Jesus was God before that. He was always God. He says yeah, so he's the, one, he's the one who tricked you. He said he's not a man, then he became a man. He tricked you then. <laughs> How he tricked you? He said, God's not a man. He said, God's not a man. Jesus, according to you, believe, God that's a man. According to you, which doesn't make any sense. You know, the fact that you said... You're saying according to me. None of the things you're saying are according to me. The ring inside. I don't remember. But anyway, alhamdulillah, what I will say to you, Deep down, you know what you said doesn't make any sense. But because you have some psychological thing against Islam, is arrogance or looking down upon the Arabs, you're looking for any uh, uh, silly excuse to reject Islam. You, you can't be off because you're very manipulative. So. I'm not manipulative, alhamdulillah. I said, worship God alone. <laughs> for example, you're giving me this little pep talk, you know, trying to it's work not, here, you know. I'm not, I'm not saying you that, uh, you know, I want good for you. I want good for you as a human being. Tell you to worship just, God. We're just talking here. You know? Bro, I'm, I, you know what I'm doing? I'm showing you many points which every human being with sound reason agree with it. It goes and gets your belief. So yeah. no. Go around, I'll find you hundreds of people here who would say gotcha arguments against Quran. Look at this, look at this, look at this. No, they will never find something objectively wrong. Found there, I they, listen, there. what's your name? So I didn't catch your name. Arthur. Arthur, my name is Shamsi. Arthur, you will never find any Christians here has objective, objective criticism against Islam. Never. Right, Never. That's your point. But if all the Muslims have objective criticism against Christianity, which is God is perfect, has no beginning, no end, he's the all-powerful, and he became baby and someone beat only, him up, doesn't make any sense. Be objective. Whatever you say, will always be subjective. He's God all-powerful all the time. Yes, you are. Yes, he is. 
So when he was getting beat up by the Romans, was he the same one who was all powerful? Yes, he was all powerful. And he was getting beat up? Yeah, if he wanted to. Take care of yourself. Take care, Khalas. May Allah help you, man. Allah, may Allah. Anyway, my brothers and sisters, you know, to, the, to, to recap, he said God is all powerful all the time. When he was getting beat up, he was all powerful as well. All powerful means no one can overpower him. He overpowered everyone by the outcome of Christianity. Alhamdulillah, you know. Alhamdulillah. Wallahi, people should become Muslim, worship God alone. Christianity doesn't make any sense. God become a baby, someone changes his nappy. But you want to ask? Say again. <laughs> you can ask questions, no problem. I finished, I finished already. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go on, no, ask questions. No, I, I, basically, what I, in summary, I was saying that when you are as human beings, God gave us a sound reasoning. Yeah. Sound reasoning. Yeah. And the natural inclination. Yeah. When you utilize our natural inclination and our sound reasoning, it goes and